The sewers are necessarily designed for the partially flow conditions so as to maintain an open channel flow and to provide the space above the surface of the sewage for proper ventilation. The sewage has a considerable proportion of organic and inorganic matter so as to cause an obstruction to the flow of sewage in the pipe. Thus, it is necessary to maintain the minimum velocity of flow to control such depositions in the sewer. These velocities are known as self-cleansing velocities. It must be maintained at least once in a day during the peak flow of the sewage at all sections of the sewage system. While, on the other hand, the velocity should not be too high to cause erosion of the pipe materials of the sewers as it reduces the life of the sewers. Generally, this velocity is limited to 3 meter per second and it is known as non-scoring velocity. Now, let us get into the numerical problem of partially flow condition sewer. We are asked to calculate the velocity and corresponding discharge in a sewer of circular section of diameter 1 meter and that is running at 5 by 8 depth of the peak flow condition. The sewer is laid at a gradient 1 in 500 use Manning's coefficient n equals to 0.013. So we are given a partial flow case in which the sm small d that is the depth of the flow in the partial flow case is assumed as small d that is given as 5 by 8 times the depth of the peak flow condition that is 5 by 8 into 1 is, is the depth of the flow in this case. Now we are asked to determine the velocity and corresponding discharge in this partial flow case. So friends for such type of problem first of all we need to assess one thing that uh, we can derive the formula for calculating the area of the uh, flow in such a partial flow case. So uh, first of all we need to uh, determine the central angle. So this central angle theta can be given by the simple formula and uh, we use this formula for the derivation of the central angle and if we have computed the central angle theta then the other calculations uh, are very much easier and let us see the solutions of this equation so we shall write first of all the given parameters in the equation is the coefficient of Manning's coefficient as is the gradient in which the sewer has been laid off and depth of the partial flow condition is 5 by 8 that is 5 by 8 is the total depth 5 by 8 times the capital D is the depth of flow in the partial flow case. Now we can easily determine the proportionate depth the proportionate depth can be easily find out by the depth that is given in the partial flow case to the depth that is given in the full flow case. So if the uh, depth is 5 by 8 times 1 in the partial flow case, so the full flow case is depth is 1 meter, isn't it? So if we solve this, the proportionate depth is 5 by 8. Easily we can find out the proportional depth is 5 by 8. So friends, uh, here we can easily find out other parameters of proportionate uh, areas, proportionate velocities, isn't it? So proportionate parameters, so all the parameters we can derive easily with the help of the proportionate formulas. So for using the proportionate formulas, we first of all we need to assess the central angle. So this central angle can be easily find out by a simple formula d by d equals to 1 by 2 1 minus cos theta by 2 where the symbol has the usual meanings d is the depth of flow in the partial flow case and the capital 
d is the depth of flow in the here friends we have assumed that the small letters are the flow case in case of the partial flow case and the capital letters are the flow case in the full flow case so if we solve d by d equals to 1 by 2 1 minus cos theta by 2 then the value of central angle theta can be easily found out as 208.95 degree likewise now we can apply the proportionate area formula as a by a equals to theta by 360 minus sin theta by 2 pi so the capital a that is area in case of full flow case has been already find out theta is already known as 208.95 degree now the area in the that is uh, the area in the partially flow case that is the weighted area in the partially flow case can be easily find out with the help of this formula theta by 360 minus sin theta by 2 pi so if we solve this then the area or we can easily say that the weighted area in such a case is 0 0.516 square meter like likewise friends we can also write the proportionate parameter formula as small p by capital p equals to theta by 360 and if we just solve this by putting the parameter of the sewer in the full flow case is pi into d and solving we can easily find out the parameter of this partially flow case sewer that comes out to be 1.823 meters similarly the hydraulic radius can be easily find out with the formula small r equals to small a by p and we need to substitute the values of weighted area of the partial flow case and the value of weighted parameter in the partial flow case and solving this 0 0.283 meters will be the hydraulic radius finally friends we can apply Manning's formula in order to determine the velocity of flow in such a sewer. So, using Manning's formula, b equals to 1 by n, r2 by 3, s1 by 2, we can compute the velocity in the sewer as b equals to 1.482 meter per second. And the corresponding discharge in the sewer is given as q equals to a into b and substituting the values computed earlier we can find out the discharge in the sewer as 0 0.764 cubic meter per second